Mars had an ancient asteroid impact, like the one that killed the dinosaurs, scientists discover. Wow. The findings mean NASA may have stumbled upon signs of alien life on its first trip to Mars in 1976. NASA may have stumbled upon signs of alien life in 1976, and they're just figuring this out now. Uh, very interesting. So, uh, I see. So, they're looking at gravel examples of how the gravel, like the sediment, was affected after the asteroid hit, I guess, in these two pictures. So, they look very similar. I guess, is that their... Um, that, they must know through that. A long time ago, a huge asteroid struck a watery planet in our solar system, sparking an enormous mega tsunami uh, that reached hundreds of feet into the air and left permanent traces on the landscape. You might be picturing the famous space rock that wiped out the dinosaurs on Earth, but scientists have now confirmed the same story played out on Mars 3.4 billion years ago at a time when Mars hosted a huge ocean that might have hosted microbial life. Wow. So, interesting. So, it makes you wonder. It honestly makes you wonder if the same thing that took the dinosaurs out, if it happened on Mars, and it, and it was at a time when they had all this water, I mean, could that not have taken out any sort of life on Mars? And I know just last week we looked up that article that was talking about how Microbial life can survive on Mars for 280 million years. I mean, that's 3.4 billion. That's a, 280 million is not that much uh, from the 3.4 billion. So, you know, it's very, uh, very interesting. It's like, what did happen to Mars? Nobody really knows. Okay, so let's see here. So they pinpointed the likely spot where the crater or where the asteroid collided with the Martian ocean at 24,000 miles an hour. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, this is very the team was also able to reconstruct some of the mind-boggling effects this ancient impact and the subsequent mega tsunami which may have produced 800 foot high waves now that is a tsunami that, I mean if there was life on Mars I mean how do you survive an 800 foot tsunami like what do you build that survives that you know there's nothing as, as, a, as a civilization as a culture as a whatever how, how do you survive that what I want to know now is how, what, what are they talking about with this alien life in 1976? So I think this is what this is about. At that point, the new study also revives a tantalizing mystery about Martian life that dates back to NASA's Viking 1 lander, which was the first mission to operate on the surface of Mars in 1976. The lander found strange compounds at its landing site that some scientists believe could indicate life, but the evidence has remained controversial for decades. They found strange compounds. That's interesting. Um, so now I see. So now they're saying, um, this Rodriguez scientist guy, he's saying that Viking 1 landed in the ancient mega tsunami, in the remains of the ancient tsunami, so that this is a promising area to look for life because there was that uh, all that stuff there. Okay, very interesting. I mean, it goes on to say, uh, let's see here. Um, dates back to the dawn of the space age when these enormous signs of ancient catastrophic floods on Mars were captured in more detail. Yeah, that's cool. Vikings landing site was selected precisely because these dried up channels seem like a prime destination to look for life. Okay, so we, but we still don't know. But let's see what he says. Rodriguez says, I think we have two distinct and very interesting astrobiological targets that have come out of this study. First one is obviously the Viking one landing site because we have this controversy. It'd be good to resolve it. Second are the remains of the mud volcanoes in this huge dried up ocean basin. Possibility that the mud volcanism was dr driven by the release of seawater trapped in the sediments or gases connected to the evaporation of seawater. Obviously, that has very interesting astrobiological implications. Wow. I, you know, when, you, you know, when I was a kid, let's just say I, I won't date myself. Well, actually, I will. But, uh, you know, in the early 90s, right, when you're reading these space books, you, you never think that, you know, these, it all seemed like science fiction. It's still, you know, with all these missions and stuff happening, um, it all seems like science fiction. But now it honestly, to me, seems like we will find the answer to if life existed. I'm not saying we're going to find life on Mars, but I think we're going to definitely find out the answer on if life existed on Mars. And I think science like this, is gonna help us get there.